First of all, Noad, congratulations on a great fight, a, a really exciting and a very close fight. Yeah. Uh, you, you had a fantastic moment at the end of the second round where you re reversed him, got his back, sunk in a triangle. Were you surprised he was able to escape from that? Yeah, man, well, I'm not that surprised. He's a tough guy, not very guy who was able to finish him, and I had a lot of fun. It was a great fight. Now, you won this fight, and you will now go back to Israel to fight for your country. This is an incredibly intense time there right now. G give us your thoughts on that and w what this means to you. Just one thing. Now, I'm having fun here. This is fun. This is job. But I have nowhere to go back home if I won't go there. If me and my friends, my partner is armed, won't go and defend our country, we'll have nowhere to go. So, it's something I really don't want to do. I want to stay here, have fun, enjoy that rest of the week after two really tough two months. But, man, I'm going to have to go. Otherwise, I'm not going to have home. I have my mom and my dad have 15 seconds to run for get a shelter when missiles falling on them. And I'm here in sunny California. I love California, but I need to go defend my home. Well, I think I speak for most of the human race. We hope for a peaceful resolution for that. And of course, for you as a friend, I wish you luck and I hope you come back safely. Me too, man. As, 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 a, as a soldier, as a combat soldier, there's nothing I want in the world more than peace. I don't want to see my younger brother go in the army. I don't want to see me and my other brother going back home on Sunday. I don't want to see that. I want to see more killing, more blood. I want to have peace. Only blood is right here in the octagon. Thank you very much, brother. Good luck to you. Noad Lahat doing a great job uh, putting the bigger picture in perspective. Don't forget, eight in the east, five in the west.